Oh, hello, hello. Today is March 20, 2022. A special day. The sun will rise everywhere on earth exactly in the east and it will set exactly in the west. And everywhere on earth the sun will be 12 hours above the horizon and 12 hours below the horizon. It's the beginning of spring in the northern hemisphere and the beginning of the fall in the southern hemisphere. So truly special. And why that is and why there are seasons, you all know, of course has nothing to do with the change in the distance between the Earth and the Sun, but it has to do with the fact that the axis of rotation of the Earth is not perpendicular to the orbital plane of the Earth around the Sun. The angle is 23 degrees of the vertical. Okay, a few more words about my book for the love of physics. All orders, which is now 205, I have prepared. Only 190 have been sent. But the other 15 are ready to go. I signed them, I wrote a message in there, I filled out the customer forms for books that go outside the United States. But because of the coronavirus, I have isolated myself for 100% from seeing anyone, meeting anyone. So I cannot go and will not go to the post office. So those 15 books that I have now, and it's growing every day, will have to stay at home until the virus war is over. But don't worry, if you have ordered books, you will get them. But it may take many months. Some of you have suggested that I ask someone else to take them to the post office, or even ask the post office to come to my home and pick them up. All of that is possible, but the law requires that I who packed the books in the envelopes, in the bubbled envelopes, I have to answer personally questions for each book that is sent. That is the law that has to do with security. And no one else can do that for me. No one else is allowed to do that for me. So, with all suggestions that someone could take them to the post office, that will not work. Those of you who have ordered only my picture, signed by me, and of course your name is on the picture, that's no problem. Those I can send, because I, all I have to do is go to the mailbox and dump them in the mailbox. And I do that maybe twice per week. Our lives have changed, and most of your lives have changed. We will have to adjust 
we have to accept reality. And given my age, my best way to survive is to completely socially is isolate myself from the rest of the world. I live with my wife, she is doing the same. All food has been ordered and is delivered to my house. I place the order every three or four days. I never open the door when the person brings the food. I ask the person to leave it outside in front of my door and I pick it up a little later. Even then I disinfect all the packages with food. Yes, our lives have changed. And this may take many, many months, maybe even a year. This is once in a lifetime. The last time that this happened was in 1918, the Spanish flu. One third of the world population got the Spanish flu and 50 million people died. There is no need to panic, that doesn't help. But what will help is that all of you minimize your risk even to the extreme, which in my case means complete isolating myself from the world. You will have to decide for yourself how you should minimize your risk. If you want to know whether I have already sent you a book, in other words, if you're not one of the 15 that have not been sent, you can ask me in YouTube. But all books that were ordered before March 17 definitely have been mailed. And most that were ordered on March 18 were already being mailed, but not all. So if you ordered it on March 16 or 17 or before that, don't even bother asking me. They are in the mail. If you're borderline and you're very keen on knowing, ask me in YouTube. Depending on where you live, enjoy the beginning of the spring, which for people on the Northern Hemisphere is always very symbolic in many ways. And for people in the Southern Hemisphere, well, they are moving towards the winter and we are moving towards the summer. Most of you probably live on the Northern Hemisphere. Okay then, March 21, 2020. It's now about a quarter past six where I live in the morning. I'm still in pyjamas and it's still dark outside. Keep in touch. I will continue posting every two weeks a physics problem and every one week an art problem. So I have something to keep me busy and that's important. I walk every day with my wife seven kilometers which is nice because where we live we have no neighbors we see no one, we only see animals, deer, rabbits,
turkeys, otters, foxes sometimes, chipmunks, turtles. Yeah, it's nice to live with the animals. Have a nice day. Take, take care. And of course, of course we are friends.